Hey everybody, Ernie Hatmaker here. It is 5.38 in the morning. Um, it has rained two days in a row and I'm out here to check on the garden and see what I need to do. If I need to do anything, maybe pick up things or turn things over or tie things up. <laughs> tie things up. There's mosquitoes out here. Woo! They're out here. In these first two boxes, you can see my weeds have completely um, outgrown the two or three heads of barley that I've got in here. And I'm going to have to pull weeds even though this bed started out with none in it. When you mow your grass and when the wind blows, seeds just pop into boxes you don't expect them to. But anyway, look at that. These sunflowers, the twins anyway, they have opened up. We're still waiting on this one. Um, this one is one of the giants, and these two are, I don't remember what kind of dwarfs they are right now. Um, but anyway, you can also see that my uh, cow peas that are also sharing the box with these sunflowers are growing. I have to water them a lot, but I don't think I'll have to water them today. We literally got way too much rain. Way, way too much rain. I wish that more of my barley had come up. What beautiful barley heads. Look at that. These barley heads are just pretty. These sunflowers have not opened. They're the same age as these sunflowers that have opened. Inside here you can see, um, I think these are dreadlocks, araminth, and a weed. Um, mixed in with this squash and the sunflowers. And as the squash starts to die off, this araminth will be um, flowering by that point. And I can't wait to see what colors I get. Sunflower row. This is actual sunflower row. Although I do have some other uh, baby sunflowers. You've seen them. Some are growing faster than others. Um, pretty much all of these sunflowers are now taller than me. Except um, there's a small one over there you see it and then this small one here and um they should be some kind of giant um just the labels remember got mixed up so i don't know um after the wind blew the labels off the the sunflowers off the porch i have no idea what's what this had a wolf spider guarding it for a long time and these uh carnations i do not want to put my hand in there because the spider might still be in there <laughs> um let's see i'm trying to that's about as close as i can get without actually putting the camera in there and i do not want to do that but yeah we have giant uh shabot carnations in there these are actually my extras in case sunflower row didn't make it um, because I put Sunflower Row out back in uh, early March when we were still having frost on the ground. So in case Sunflower Row didn't make it, then I had Baby Sunflower Row in uh, solo cups on the table to back them up. Speaking of sunflowers, the wild ones or the ones that were not planned that just came up, you know, from some from last year. They're opening up. And look who it is. It's attention to detail. I hope he doesn't get that truck stuck. Look how many heads are on these sunflowers. I had lemon pixies out here, but that doesn't look like lemon pixies to me. They're very dark. There's the squash that was excited to see Ed. <laughs> All right, these two sunflowers that are protecting this other golden peach tomato for no reason. Um, I've cut down a bunch of this tomato stalk because it was just going everywhere. Um, the leaves still look horrible. It's only giving me one tomato. It's not a fungus. I have asked questions about these slicer tomato gourmet mixes that I've gotten from this company now. And a couple of people have reviewed theirs are the same way. I've got some nasturtium in here that are going to take this tomato's place as I continue to chop it down till it is no more. There's the other sunflower which 
this sunflower was planted later. I'm trying to get all the sunflowers off the porch um, because they were going to replace Sunflower Row and now they're just kind of here. So I'm using them for shade. I've gotten a couple harvests off this squash here. This one here is starting. Something took a bite out of it, a small little nibble there on the side. Uh, my guess is um, it's possible a bird came through or it got sliced on the wood as the rain and wind was blowing. Since there, were, there was a tornado um, or there was rotation in the air. I, uh, I don't think it was officially a tornado. Um, um, that's the cinder block bed and I've got some zucchini growing out of there. Yep, they're yellow zucchini also and whoo! All of these were so tiny Saturday and today it's just uh dang it, today's Monday <laughs> and now they're almost ready to harvest. They are almost ready to harvest. Didn't take them long. These tomatoes are golden peach and they're growing and growing and growing in these little holes here. And this mullen, um, I actually um, chopped off her flowers. She had a flower stalk growing out the top because I haven't harvested enough leaves yet. I, I want to make um, some mullen tea. So I, I need a whole lot of leaves to uh, fill up a couple of uh, jars. Oh wow, I just stepped out of the sun behind the sunflower. It's doing its job. So I've got another sunflower growing beside it and there's tomatoes mixed in into the holes here. 